Welcome back to Biafra News Support. Biafra Ada Biafra here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, depending on where you're watching me from. Biafra's lovers of freedom, people of goodwill, I bring you another news. And this is a very serious one and coming from Biafra Prime Minister to the Fulanese protesting in the north and in Abuja. Do not tell them not to protest. We do not ask them not to protest. Whatever they do is their cup of tea, not ours. But what we are telling them is that if any Biafra is being killed in the north, they will leave Biafra land within 48 hours. Yes, because that is what they normally do. Whenever anything is happening in another country against the Muslims and the Christians, they always target Biafrans in the north. But this time around, it's not going to be as usual. If any Biafran is being killed, we have seen protests, how they are chasing police, how they are, how they are attacking police in the north. That is for you to see. They, are, they do whatever they want in the north, but you see those uh, criminals in uniform and the tourists in uniform coming to Biafran and to kill Biafrans. And there's some police officers who are running. If any Biafran is being killed, they will leave Biafra within 48 hours. It's coming from Biafra Prime Minister. We friends, we make no apology for the position we have taken in the ongoing battle between light and darkness. So before I continue, I would like to welcome all the new and old subscribers. If you're coming across my channel for the first time, please kindly click the red subscribe button, turn on the notification bell to know you get notification once I upload a new video. Don't forget to share, like, leave your comments at the comment section. So be friends, lovers of freedom, people of goodwill. Thank you, our great leader, be friend, our great uh, leader, PM, Mazi Simone, for always standing firm to defend truth. Mm? So Park said in his uh, music, whoever that wants to bring it, bring it. Biafrans are ready to go. Hmm? We are ready to go. So, Biafran Prime Minister said, on the ongoing Nigeria Islamic government-sponsored protest against Israel in the north Nigeria, in the northern Nigeria, including Abuja, if any Biafran is reportedly killed as a result of that, we will evict all northerners from eastern region. Within 48 hours, with a reprisal, this will be the last, uh, the last straw. Beer friends are standing with Israel, and that is our right. Okay. Did you hear that? Yes. No going back. Beer friends are fully, fully agreed. Whenever something is happening another, in another country, within a, a Muslim country and the Christians, the Fulanese in the north, or in the Fulanese, always target Igbos in the north. And Abuja. That is what they normally do. But it's not going to be like that. This time around, I'm happy we have somebody like Biafran Prime Minister. Whatever the Fulani is like, they can do in the north. It's, it's a cup of tea, not ours. But they should not dare touch our brothers or sisters in the north. It's not going to be as usual. Whenever they are having problem with another Christian country, it's our Biafran that always suffers it in the north. You see them killing Biafrans. Humiliating their friends, destroying their properties, their goods, doing all manner of things. It's our people that always bear the consequences. But it's not going to be like that anymore. They are in Biafra land also, the way our people are in the north. Though we have asked those ones countless times to come back to Biafra land, and they refused. Some of them even went ahead to say they are now not animals. But that won't stop anything. It's no longer going to be like uh, uh, before. If any uh, uh, Muslim country is having problem with any Christian country, you see them killing our people in the north. It's not going to be like that anymore. If any Biafra is being touched, they are going to leave Biafra land within 48 hours. You see why I like Biafra Prime Minister? You see why I say that any Biafra against Biafra Prime Minister is a confused, gullible fellow that can never know his or her right. He is left or her right. Because a few days ago, I came across a, a post. Somebody reposted it. Somebody reposted that uh, China Samoru's post. China Samoru was against, uh, against Israel. Calling on Christians in Nigeria to call Israel to order. Or to what are they doing about the Israel, about genocide Israel is committing this and that, that and this. People were asking, did he condemn the attack on Israel? They said they are going to check his page to see if, if there is anywhere he condemned it. If you're still confused <laughs> for what is going on, that means you're a confused fellow, a fellow that can never know he's right or left. Seriously. And when I finished reading, I was like, is this really one of those Mazenam they kind of called the uh, bro of DOS? 
Zizri, one of those, Mazinam the Kano, included in this very struggle. You are against Israel. That means you are, you are, you are in support of the Boko Harams. You are in support of the way the Fulani headsmen were killing our people. So he had the name himself, Abbas. I was asking myself, how, where did Mazinam the Kano meet all these people? That is the question I asked myself. How did Mazinam the Kano come across these people? And I, I, I joined them in this very struggle. These people are not for our freedom. They are not ready to fight for our freedom. You are against Israel. For what exactly? So these uh, people, they are free to kill and nobody, they, they are not, it's no good to retaliate. Really? Look at the protests going on in the north. Before you know it now, they start attacking our people. And that is why I like this post. Giving them one in our head. If any Biafran is being torched, <laughs> they will know. And there is a comment I was looking at. Somebody said, somebody said that our brothers in the north is a big bait to northern terrorists. Any horror will change the game to higher levels. In Simon Ekma, we trust. Sometimes I'll be asking myself, if not for Biafran Prime Minister and our gallant men, our volunteers, what would have become of Biafrans in Biafra land? Seeing the way Gina Samoro was going around, calling the names of our gallant men on Radio Biafra and their full and terrorists, their soldiers, are going to their houses, killing them, ambushing them and killing them. I was asking myself, I've been asking myself that question. The U.S. Then they told our gallant men to go back to their houses. They should leave our bushes and forests and go back to their houses. These people were never ready for our freedom. If you are against the genocide of uh, other people, those fighting for their right or those fighting against terrorism, what exactly are you name an IPOB struggle doing? What exactly are you doing in this struggle? I'm asking. If you are against Israel fighting or fighting the terrorists that came to kill them, you are against their friends uh, fighting off the terrorists that came to kill them, what exactly are you doing in this struggle? You are not for this struggle. Hearing the name alone, I was asking myself, how did Omadike come across these very people? Claiming to be fighting for our freedom. Dear friend, Prime Minister, dear friends are happy with what you're doing. Because uh, if you don't know what has been happening before now, Know it now. Whenever a protest is going on in the north against a particular country, against a particular Christian country, <laughs> just know that it's the uh, evils that bear the consequences. They always kill our people whenever this kind of protest is going on in the north. And that is why Biafrans are happy that Biafran Prime Minister sent out this very warning. If any Biafran is being killed, they are going to leave Biafran within 48 hours. If you don't know, that is what the Fulanis normally do before now, if any of their, uh, if any of their, any of the Arab country or Muslim country having problem with any Christian country, it's always be a friends in the north that always be the consequences. Not this now, and no peace, and not the reason be a friend Prime Minister made this very post and warning to the Fulanese. because the next thing now and now they have found out that all oh, they, they are aware that we are in support of Israel, they will start attacking our people. They should also know that their people are also in Biafra land, the way those uh, ones are there, those are our people are there. Though we have asked them to come back many times, they refused. The thing that one of the flavors that call himself an elder came out and said that they are now not an Ibos, as how shameless some of them are. Somebody said before Mazen Namdekano was kidnapped, Pastor Egala, one of the Yoruba pastors in Abuja, said that if Namdekano is told hundreds of Namdekano will rise, that prophecy has been fulfilled in Simon Epa. Thank God for uh, Simon Epa. Left uh, those, okay, left, left for those betrayers, Biafra issue, uh, Biafra issue would have uh, been benched. Did you hear that? If not for Biafran Prime Minister, do you know what they plan to do to this very struggle for? They, they, their plan before now, their evil plan before now was to hand this struggle over to the Fulanese. You don't know. <laughs> if not for Biafran Prime Minister, that is why Biafran, genuine Biafran are happy with what Biafran Prime Minister is doing. If not for Biafran Prime Minister, as this protest is going on now, who do you think will send this warning? Do you think any of them will have the balls to send this warning and this message to the Fulanese? That no Biafran should be touched. They are free to do their protest. They are free to do whatever they want to do in the north, but let none of our people be touched. Whatever they are doing, it's our right to stand with any, any country. It's our right to stand with Israel 
as is their right, own right to stand with Palestinian or by uh, uh, Hamas. It's not our business. Stand uh, support whoever you want to support. But don't attack us because we are supporting the people we choose to support. It can't continue. The humiliation, intimidation, forcing us to make the same choice with them. No, it's not going to continue. So the criminals in the struggle that was in charge of this very struggle, after the kidnap of Mazen Nam the Kano, their plan was to sell the struggle to the Fulanese so that the Fulanese can do as they please. Look at what is going on on Radio Biafra. They are campaigning for zoo election. Look at Jina Samoro. He keep posting about things that have nothing to do with Biafra restoration or Biafra struggle. You see them gossip. Even the, See, people were asking him, do you even read your comment? You claim to be a, a, a freedom fighter. You are hiding and you call yourself a freedom fighter. <laughs> those of you against Biafran Prime Minister if they ask you who is Shina Samura apart from the pictures you're seeing can you describe him if you see him on the road can you recognize him you can't follow somebody that is fighting for your freedom you don't know nobody can be fighting for your freedom and you will not know that person how can somebody claim to be fighting for your freedom and you can't uh, recognize that person or that, oh this is the person fighting for my freedom if you are genuinely fighting for freedom if you are genuine you will not be hiding your face. Look at Biafran Prime Minister. Is he hiding? <laughs> no, he's not hiding. Makamboge is sitting. The world will know who to call for roundtable meeting. Oh, this, this has been going on for so long. Now it's time to do the needful. If you, if you think that anybody will, will mention their names, that is why Biafrans are following who knows road. I am here for I am here for I am here for you. I am here for you. I am here for you. Mohammadike, because of Mohammadike, we thought that they knew road. Hmm? Because of Mohammadike, and you feel they're not But after the kidnap of Mohammadike, we found out that these people have no destination. They have no direction. Talk more of destination. They don't know where they're going. Rather, they are more in the struggle, looking for information to give to the enemies. For them, they think that they have all the information the enemies want. That is why they sold Mazen Nam the Khan, so that they can also sell the struggle and continue hiding. And we, within them, oh, nobody knows us. Whatever we do, nobody is, nobody is going to uh, identify us. Nobody is going to know who we are. With all the, all the, all the, all the uh, expositions, everything, both their meeting that looks like kindergarten. If not for Biafran Prime Minister, I don't know where Biafrans would have been. I don't know what would have become of Biafrans. So this very warning to the full knees. Take this information serious because days ahead is dangerous and Mazi Simone Banjoko is no nonsense man. He's not. That is right. It's our choice who to stand with. We stand solidly with Israel as they are standing with uh, their brothers. We stand with our own people also. So no going back. They make their own choice. We have made ours. So they should respect ours. We're not going to disrespect their own. It's their business. They are free to do whatever they want to do. If they want to do the protest from now to next year, it's their business. But let no Biafran be touched. Let them, let them not attack any Biafran. Let them not kill any, any of our brothers and sisters in the north. Biafra stand with Israel. Hmm? No apologies to anyone. No apologies to anyone. If one Biafra is found wanting, you go, I... Well, thank you, Biafran Prime Minister. I've been waiting to hear this for so long because I saw a video of, uh, of uh, these people attacking police, even some police officers ran. Hmm? They ran because uh, that is what they normally do. <laughs> they can't stand the full news, but you see them spreading their little wings in Biafra land. But I'm very happy, very, very happy about this very post. I'm extremely excited. Hmm? If not for Biafra, Republic government in exile, Biafrans, especially Igbo people residing in any part of the north or of the north, would have become history by now. I'm telling you the honest truth. Head to head, eye to eye, the time we lamented is gone. This time is action for equal reaction. Hmm? We Biafrans stand Gidibam. Gidibam with uh, Israel, shoulder to shoulder, not going back, hmm? not going back. So those of you, our people in the north, any of you, any of our people, 
come and then report that somebody you people know is, is missing. Kamara ba ge bi dopo chashwanda opo shwanda opo shona bi afraland. Anya kaina jong. Ese la honya. Aga mane. Ai mande ha o. So that is it dear friends, be from prime minister send the series sent a serious warning to Fulani government, to Fulani Kabas. The ongoing Nigerian Islamic government sponsored protest against Israel in the northern Nigeria, including Abuja, if any Biafran is reportedly killed as a result of that, we will evade all maintenance from eastern region within 48 hours. With a reprisal, this will be the last straw. Biafrans are standing with Israel, and that is our right. Do you get it? So that is it, Biafrans. God bless our Prime Minister. Bless the new Biafrans all over the world and our gallant men. Now, Supreme Leader Hamadike. Those criminals hiding under the struggle, supporting the genocide of their own people, <laughs> will regret their actions. So thank you all. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell. And please tune in once you get notification. Thank you all.